Today I'm going to run through all the different Renergy products in our off-grid solar system. I'm going to talk about how the system's been working for us, everything we like about the products, things we don't like, and what it was like dealing with Renergy's warranty department, because yes, we have had to have something replaced under warranty. We live full-time in our van, so having access to reliable power is vital for us. Our off-grid solar system is made up of mostly Renergy products, and these have been installed in the van for around nine months. We did do a detailed step-by-step -step install of the system when we put it in, so I'll link that up here. Make sure you go and check that out if that's something you're interested in. Our solar system includes three 200-watt Renergy solar panels, making up our 600-watt array. We've got Renergy's 60-amp MPPT solar charge controller, Renergy's 50 amp DC DC charger. We've got Renergy's three kilowatt inverter charger. Full batteries, we've got two 200 amp hour Renergy lithium batteries wired in parallel, keeping the system as a 12 volt system. We also have the Renergy smart shunt and the Bluetooth connectivity. So our solar panels are connected in series and then this connects into our solar charge controller. This in turn connects to the batteries via the bus bar. The bus bar that we've gone with is actually one of the few things that's not Renergy, and that is the Victron Lynx distributor. And we just went with this because it's a nice all-in-one bus bar and fuse holder. The 50 amp Renergy DC-DC charger lets us charge our off-grid batteries while we're driving using the van's alternator. The DC-DC charger does also have a solar charge input with an MPPT solar charge controller built into it, but we went for separate units for a couple of different reasons. Firstly, we wanted to wire the panels in series and that pushed the system voltage above what that DC-DC charger can use on the solar side. The second reason is it lets us maximize our charge while we're driving. So by having the separate MPPT solar charge controller and DC-DC charge controller, we can get the maximum from our solar as well as from the alternator while we're driving. That means we're getting up to 1.2 kilowatts of charge while we're driving. If we just went with the DC-DC charger, we would be limited to 50 amps or about 600 watts. Thirdly, we have the solar charge controller side of the DC-DC charger wired up so that we can plug an external panel in if we ever want to do that. For example, if we're parked in the shade or if we want some extra power. Now, this is not something that we've ever done or that we've ever needed to do, but we have that option there if we want to. So far, the system has been working really well for us. In fact, we hardly ever see the state of charge of the batteries dropping below 80%, and they're normally at around the 90% mark in the morning before the sun comes up. In saying that, we have been pretty lucky with the weather and we've been traveling through the northern parts of Australia, so we've been getting a lot of sunlight and very little cloud cover. One of the big factors though in maintaining such a high level of charge is the amount of driving we're doing and having that DC-DC charger, which is keeping the batteries topped up whenever we're driving. Overall, I'm happy with the function that the Renergy products have provided so far. Solar generation from the panels has been good and it's been working well with the MPPT solar charge controller. The DC-DC charger works efficiently and honestly, this is one of my favorite features of the solar system just because of how much driving we do. The three kilowatt or 3000 watt Renergy inverter has been working really well for us and it's been running all of our appliances from laptops all the way up to the coffee machine and we also charge the e-bikes on it as well. We even ran some pretty high powered tools when we were finishing off the build. The inverter also has a mains charging function so we can plug it into the grid and charge via the grid using the inverter. This is a nice feature to have. It's really not something that we've made a whole heap of use of just because the batteries are always so charged but there was a time where we parked for a couple of days right under a tree and we were at a powered site so we just plugged it in one night to top it up. The smart shunt and the monitor provides really good information such as the state of charge, how many amps we're drawing, how long the battery is going to last on either the current draw, so how long until it's flat or when it's charging, how long until it's fully charged. It's really easy to use and it's a good reference to have visible all the time. The manuals that come with all the products are pretty good. They're relatively easy to interpret for doing self installs. The one that was probably the trickiest was the inverter and how you wire in the mains charging side of that. But generally they'll tell you wire sizes, fuse sizes, all of that sort of thing. And it's pretty straightforward. The Bluetooth functionality works okay for most things. It just connects to an app on your phone. I find that this is something that I hardly ever look at. I just generally rely on the smart shunt and the monitor because it's just so much easier. I feel like the price point is pretty good for the Renergy products. They're probably like a middle ground compared to the other products that are out there. The price does always seem to be creeping up slowly. And the other weird thing is they always seem to be on sale, which is, I don't know, it's just a bit odd. 
bit of a weird marketing thing, I think. So there are definitely a couple of things I don't like with the Renergy products. The inverter button is massive. I do not understand why it needs to be so big and all it is is an on and off button. It would be really nice if this had a screen on it similar to what was shown on the inverter because usually the inverter is tucked away in some hard to reach place. And so if you wanna change settings or see what the inverter is doing, you have to kind of crawl in there and look at it. And there's just this massive box with the button for turning it on and off that has no other real functionality. And I feel like a screen on there would be really nice. Now changing the settings on the inverter is not something that we've done since we set it up, but it would be nice to be able to monitor that remotely. The other thing while we're talking about the inverter, it doesn't connect to the Bluetooth module. Maybe this is something that will be added down the track. It does have the ethernet style port and you can run a cable from that and plug it into the Bluetooth hub but it's not getting picked up on the system and it doesn't seem to be integrated or working. So you can't monitor that remotely on your phone either. Another thing I don't like is the way the company operates and maybe this is in Australia only, but there's no contact number. So if you have a problem or you wanna ask a question, there's no number where you can just jump on the phone and work through that with someone on the other end. All they've got is an online chat functionality. So I mentioned we had to do a warranty claim with Renergy and I know that this is an area where they've not got a particularly good name. So I thought I would share our experience in Australia. So when the electrician wired in the 240 volt side of the inverter and we turned it on for the first time, it made a big spark and a puff of smoke. We quickly turned everything off and went over all the connections and checked that. And everything had been wired in as per the manual. So we then took the case off the inverter and what we found was a part of the ribbon cable had been manufactured poorly or it was a sort of a fault in the manufacturing and the way it was sitting, it was rubbing on one of the circuit boards and it had caused the ribbon cable to wear through and obviously a short had happened there and that had gone through to some different components in the inverter. I was pretty stressed at this point because we were due to move into the van in about one or two weeks following that. And so knowing what the reputation with Renergy and warranty was, I was a little bit worried. I took photos of the fault, jumped online with the chat, filled out the details. They asked a couple of questions around how it was wired. I sent them my wiring diagram. I sent them photos of the fault that we'd found and the response from Renergy was really good. So I think the inverter install happened on a Wednesday afternoon. I contacted them on Thursday morning. They asked a couple of questions and we chatted over the online chat. I think a new inverter shipped out on the Friday and then a delivery was attempted early that following week and I picked it up from the post office midweek. So it was like three or four business days and I had a brand new inverter in my hands. I suppose you can take away from that what you wish. Obviously manufacturing faults like that probably shouldn't happen, but they do. And for me, I was pretty pleased with the response and the turnaround from Renergy to get a new product out to us. So I know Renergy has a relatively bad reputation in the warranty sort of space. So hopefully this is a sign of them looking to turn that around. All right, so to summarize, overall, I'm happy with the products that we've chosen and the way they're working. I think the price point is relatively good. There's definitely a little bit of clunkiness between some of the products and their controllers, like with the inverter and its on-off button and Bluetooth connectivity. Once again, I'm not a massive fan that there's no customer service available via the phone. In saying that, the online chat seems to work relatively well, but that's just a personal thing for me. I would rather be able to pick up the phone and talk to someone. My personal experience with Renergy's warranty department and customer service has been good. So I'm happy with that. So to wrap up, I am happy with the products that we've gone with. I'm happy with the way the system is working. And I suppose the question left is how they'll stand up to the test of time.